Madrid, the capital of Spain, is located in the heart of the Iberian Peninsula and in the centre of the Castilian Plain. A splendid and monumental city, Madrid today is a combination of modern infrastructure and historic squares, churches, city gates and palaces. The Palacio Real, or Royal Palace, is Madrid's largest building. It's located next to the equally beautiful Plaza de Oriente. The architectural complexes of the royal sites were built for use as places of relaxation, recreation and as residences for the members of the various Spanish royal families. The palace was built on the site of the old Alcazar, the Moorish castle destroyed by fire in the 18th century. The site had been occupied since the 10th century by the Moors, who having named the city's Manzanares River Almagret, meaning source of water, referred to the area as Mayrit, which became Majerit, then Madrid. The facades combine two types of material in order to provide chromatic contrast. The most abundant material is granite, which can be found in the bases and on the flat walls. The white limestone of Colmenar de Oreja is used for bases, columns, pilasters, cornices and so on. The Sabatini Gardens stretch along the northern façade of the Royal Palace. These gardens were created in the 1930s but followed a design of the 18th century architect who gave the gardens his name. Fountains, hedges and benches are organised in a symmetrical layout in the classic French garden style. Italian architect Francesco Sabatini redesigned many emblematic monuments in Madrid. Forty-four statues of Spanish monarchs line the square. They range from the Gothic period up to the time when the country was reunified, following the defeat of the Moors in the 15th century. Near the staircase, presiding over the park, is a statue in memory of Carlos III, the monarch who reformed teaching and promoted research and the spread of knowledge. The Plaza de Oriente is a pedestrian square bordering Madrid's royal palace. At the centre of the square, on a large pedestal, is a huge statue of King Philip IV, decorated with statues of lions and allegorical figures. Its designer, Pietro Tacca, was afraid that the rearing horse could not be balanced properly. The famous Italian astronomer, Galileo Galilei, came to his rescue by suggesting that the front rearing part of the sculpture should be hollow and therefore relatively light. During his short reign as king, José I launched a project to open up the east side of the royal palace with the creation of a new square 